Hello and welcome to the Porsche Academy. Today we're going to be walking through the process on how to DC fast charge a Taycan. First thing we're going to do is of course turn on our Taycan with the power button on the left hand side of the steering wheel. Now the next step in the process of finding that DC fast charging station is go to navigation. Select navigation here in the PCM and then search for destination. Now to narrow it down we're going to do some filtering here but the first one we want to do is do only charging stations. We'll select this button right here and here you can see it's actually filling in all the charging stations and it is all of the charging stations. Let's filter it down just a little bit more by selecting this line here. We're going to use the Porsche charging service. Now when you select that, what it does is pulls only Electrify America station. So you get those 30 free minutes for three years of ownership of your vehicle. The next thing we're going to do is select the faster chargers, right? We're looking for that 350 charger that Electrify America offers for us. And to do so, we're going to select this line here, which is from 250 kilowatts. Select that. That's basically 250 and above. And here you can see it's populating only Electrify America stations here in the back. Now, why would you enter the destination of the charging station into the PCM? You may know where your charging stations are locally or on a journey. Well, let's think about that. The reason we enter them into the PCM is actually the Porsche charging planner. Now, the Porsche charging planner raises the temperature of the battery as you get closer to your destination. By doing so, it will allow you to have a much faster charge. There's a really nice coffee shop near our charging location, so let's check that out. The route is being calculated. As you pull into the charging station, pay close attention to the power of the charging pedestal that you're pulling up to. Each pedestal is marked with the power of that charger. Some chargers have different power ratings for each individual charging cable on that pedestal. Now that we're at the charging station, we're gonna go ahead and initiate the charging session, and it's best practice to do it here in the car. Now, before you go ahead and get started, you wanna take a look at your temperature in the vehicle as well. The temperature is very important. If your temperature is just a little bit too low, your charging session may be a little bit longer than usual. So we're gonna check our temperature, which looks pretty good for DC fast charging. Now we're gonna activate the charge. First step you're gonna do is you're gonna select the map button, and then you're going to select this little bullseye. Basically, it shows you where your car is at. The next step is you're gonna select this little middle button, which pulls up the charger, and there you can see we're very close, or sitting right next to our charger here. So the next thing you're gonna do is put your finger right on the address, right there, and that opens up this charging station, and you'll see CCS. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's a little bit larger charging cable than you use at home. It has the kind of two larger sockets at the bottom, and this is for DC fast charging, and it's on the right-hand side of your Taycan. So we're gonna select that here, then we're gonna look for our charging pedestal, very specific, and our charging pedestal number is number 07. Now we will select the start charging button and the charging session is started. Let's go plug in the car. If you have an electric charge port door, it can be opened with a swipe of the hand. If you have a manual charge port door, it can be opened with a push similar to our gas operated vehicles. Now when plugging the vehicle in, make sure to lower the DC charging flap and insert the charger until you hear a click. Now wait for the green light around the charging button. Now there's a second way to do the charging process. You can activate plug and charge in the PCM. First, you'll select the charging icon. Next, you'll select the three dots in the lower right-hand corner. And here you can see the line that says activate plug and charge. Make sure that box is checked. Plug and charge allows you to drive up to the charging pedestal, remove the charging cable, plug it into the vehicle, and walk away. Now, while you're enjoying your coffee, you can check the status of your charge. Open your My Porsche app and select details in the top right-hand corner, 
and then functions here in the middle of the screen and you'll see a banner that says charging and here you can see the status of your charge. Okay, so we've taken a look at our My Porsche app and the charging session is complete. So now it's time to stop the charging session. And we'll do so also here in the My Porsche app. So you'll go ahead and select the Map tab and then you'll see it pop up right away. And it's a red button that says Stop Charging Session. So you'll select that and then another window will come up, Stop Charging, and now your session is complete. Another way to stop the charging process is to hold down the charging button in the charging port for three seconds. Now remove the cable and replace it on the pedestal. After doing so, make sure the DC charging flap is closed and close the DC fast charging door. You've now completed your DC fast charging session at an Electrify America station. If you encounter any problems with your charge, call this customer service number. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time here at the Porsche Academy.